Hey guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Target exclusive Avengers Marvel Legends Infinite Series 3-pack. Um, it's got Ultron, it's got uh, Phasing Vision, and it has a new version of Hulk uh, with his new haircut appearance um, from the new, or well, it would be the last Incredible Hulk series. Um, I apologize now. I know Ultron's a little dark over here. I was playing around with the light, trying to see how I could illuminate this for you guys, and it just wasn't working. It was giving too much glare. So we're going to go with this. We're going to get them out of the package in a minute, and we're going to take a look at them. So um, most of these are reused sculpts uh, with a change, a little modification here and there, new head sculpt for Hulk, a uh, little mod to Ultron, and a little bit for vision but ultimately the same for vision just a uh, a white clearish mold so i still like it one thing that i think is interesting uh, a buddy of mine was over in china uh, a couple weeks ago and he picked this up at toys r us there's a sticker on the bottom that's slightly different um i will include it i think i still have it if i have it i'm going to include it at the end of this video so you can take a look at it. But mine was brought here in the States uh, from Target, right? Um, I know some people were price matching this. Uh, I'm not sure if your Target will do that. But if you can, uh, you probably want to do it sooner than later. Uh, they had a price online, which some Targets were price matching. So you might want to check that out. Go to customer service and see if they'll do it for you. Um, but uh, let's see. Let's take a look at this. Ultron, Hulk, Marvel's Vision, uh, clear open window here. Let's take a look at the illustration on the side. We have Vision, Ultron, and Hulk. Flip it around on the back. And we have a brief description. Let's see. Freeze that there for you. Freeze that there for you. And there we go. All right, and anybody that's looking for this, you guys know I like to do this for you just to help you out. Some people, it really does help. We'll freeze that here. You can screenshot it, UPC code, and take that up to the front desk, and they'll be able to help you. So uh, I like this three-pack. Uh, I picked this up for a cheaper price than the $50, $50 price tag, which... I think is uh, good. It came to about $10 per figure, which is absolutely awesome. Um, the other three packs that Target had out not too long ago were sitting on the shelves for a while. Um, you know, 50 bucks for three figures is a little expensive for the three packs, especially when there was, uh, you know, paint app problems and, you know, cockeyed looking uh you know details on eyes and it was just you know um overall it's not bad you figure if the figures are going for 20 bucks a, a pop uh, as a single uh then three figures you should probably be paying about 60 bucks so 50 bucks really isn't that bad but um for a three pack you're kind of you know you're kind of hoping for a little discount and so what i picked this up for was about ten dollars per figure which i think is really good so i picked up two of them um so let's open them up, take a look at them, and tell me what you think. All right, so here's our three-pack out of the case, all right? Um, let's take a look at them. We'll start with Vision. All right, here's a close look at Vision. Let's uh, shed a little light on the subject here. All right, so uh, take a look at Vision. All right, we'll actually bring in our other Vision Looks like we're having double vision there. Um, now, the only difference that I see here would be that this vision it has a open hand and this vision has a closed fist. Right? And actually, hmm, now that I'm looking at this a little closer, um, this vision has shoes, a uh, shoe mold. This one has feet. And let's uh, now let's take a look at them. So we see here for this vision, we have uh, we have feet rather than the the shoe type mold that the other one has. All right, um, the articulation is the same, basic for what we've seen from Marvel Legends. Um, you got the ankle, 
You got right here a little calf turn, double knee. You got right up, right up in here in the thigh. And right there, a little full motion. Waist, ab, shoulders, and we have the double elbow, and we have a fist. All right, or actually the wrist has full articulation up in there. So uh, the articulation on this figure is good. Um, we have a lot of articulation, a lot of points. Um, the mold on this is a clear type of mold. All right, you can see through it for the most part with like a frost, uh, a white frost uh, paint on it with a little, a little paint up in here. Uh, this is a little off right there on the chest. But besides that, uh, most of it's pretty good. Um, up here in the thigh area, though, it, I don't know if it's from scratching, but you have a few few spots on the body where, like, the frost didn't fully, I guess, take on it. So you got some scratches there. Um, but overall, not bad. So let's take our phasing vision, and we'll put him right here so you guys can see him. All right. Now... Uh, Let's take a look at Ultron here, and or actually, we'll take a look at Ultron last. So here's Hulk. Um, the Hulk seems to be the same body as the uh, Marvel movie Hulk, uh, without a couple of the the paint apps that we've seen. Um, I do wish that they would have given him a little more detailing up in the chest area. All right, if you look, I don't know if you could see it, but. The arms and the head are a deeper green than the chest, actually the chest pretty much. Um, the legs a little bit, but really the chest. The chest is a different color green than the arms and legs. Uh, let's see if you could kind of get a hint for that. All right. Sorry about the light on this. Like I said, I was playing around with the light and I'm a little disappointed, but we'll work on that. Uh, so yeah, this green is the same, uh, the body is, is a different green than the head and the arms. Um, up here in the head, you kind of see there's a little like bleeding through of the green through like the, the hair. Not really happy with that. Um, let's see about the legs. Right here, you have the molded part on the upper thigh area, which matches up here in the crotch, but then down here, uh, where they painted it in around like the calf, that's a different brown too, with a little extra bleeding in there also. So they cut a few corners, and you could kind of tell a little bit. That's what I was talking about with the uh, the paint apps and the uh, the fifty dollar mark on the on the box. So these are uh, some of the negatives of the set. I do like the Hulk, all right. I like the movie Hulk. I do like this Hulk. I like the head sculpt. If it was just a little more with the uh, the paint, it wouldn't be an issue. So we're going to put that there. You see the size. So they did a good size. Scale-wise, they're, they're on point. All right. So now my complaint here, you guys are going to see something. Um, this is all straight out the box. I haven't uh, really played with these. I haven't posed them up or anything like that. Straight out the box, this is what happened. As soon as I took them out the box, I've got no strings, and now I have one leg. So, Ultron, right out of the package, his leg popped. Um, I didn't even pull it. I just pulled uh, the arm up slightly to take him out, and this is what happened. I got a snapped Ultron leg. Uh, so, I've actually seen this online, uh, one of the Facebook groups, Somebody, so a few other people posted that, that they took them straight out the box and the leg snapped. Um, me as an adult collector, you know, I'm disappointed, but not overly disappointed. Uh, you know, return them back to the store and hopefully they'll help me out. But what about the little kid that takes them out the box? This isn't a one-time, uh, you know, snafu. This has happened to multiple people. So come on, quality control. Um, what's up with these Ultrons? Because actually... Everything on here is very, very tight, uh, some of the joints. Even Hulk, when I was taking him out of the package, his arms felt incredibly tight, like I was scared he was just going to snap. So, And this Ultron, um, I don't know if you guys can feel it, but he feels a little different to me, like a lighter plastic was used. Um, I don't know 
I don't know what's going on with it, but it, it feels it feels like it the the plastic is, is definitely lighter, cheaper. Um, and even right here, after a leg snapped, I can't move this. All right, his upper thigh. Um, this one can move, but this one is kind of stuck right where it's at. So, and even turning right here to show you guys articulation, I'm afraid I'm gonna snap that leg. The knees are very tight. Uh, we do have the articulation. If it does move, obviously, um, here's a little pre-warning. You might want to heat him up, drop him in some, some warm water, maybe a little blow dryer, just to loosen the joints. Because um, even just taking him out the package, pieces snap. So you have articulation right here and the ankles, double knee. All right, if you're able to get it to move, articulation here to turn, right there, right there, right here, ab crunch and basic articulation up in the arms with double elbow and shoulders and wrist and the head. I do like the sculpt that they did on this Ultron. It is a good, uh, you know, the additions of the little red specks and the face. It did a good job on the Ultron, um, but I don't know what's up with the quality control. So um, we're gonna kind of put his leg here, try to get a little pose and uh, we'll see what we can do with this. Hopefully, I'll be able to take them and swap out that Ultron um, or something. So, here you go, guys. Here's our three-pack. Thank you for checking us out. Um, look us up on Facebook, Ultimate Toy Collector. Instagram, Ultimate Toy Collector. YouTube, you're here. Like the video, share it, subscribe. And um, we got some more stuff coming up. New York Comic Con's right around the corner. And uh, actually, we actually got into the Hasbro panel all right, not just the Hasbro panel, we're getting into the Hasbro display and everything. So that's really cool. Um, stay on the look for it. We're going to post it up YouTube, Instagram, um, wherever we post it, Facebook. So check us out. Stay tuned. And as always, happy hunting.